morning. It's been a while since I've done a day in the life, um, partially because we moved in the spring and then it's summer now, but I thought I would take you along with us today and kind of give you a look at what a summer day looks like. Is that you? You see yourself? Yeah? No. Um, we're staying pretty close to home today, but we're going to get some stuff done around here. So it's just eight o'clock now. Showered and changed, got this guy up and changed his diaper. Going to go make some pancakes for breakfast now. So usually I do big batches of pancakes on the weekend and then I freeze them and the kids take them out in the morning during the week, but we don't have quite enough left in the freezer. So just heating up what we do have, they're gonna start with that and then I'm gonna make a double batch and do some freezing. Jacob really wants to be on camera, so I'll show you him. Your turn, say hi. No. No, you're not gonna say hi? He's playing peekaboo with uh, Nathan over here. <laughs> so Caitlin is working on some Printing, she already wanted to start her kindergarten, so she's been doing that. Tyler's doing the lingo, he already emptied the dishwasher today, that was his day to do it. You being silly? Yeah. And Joshua's still uh, upstairs. So while the griddle's warming up, I'm just gonna pull the cover off of the pool here and get it going so the kids can play it later because it's nice today. We had stormy weather yesterday, lots of thunder and lightning and rain, so excited to play in the pool today. There we go. Getting ready for the kids. <laughs> So I ended up with 24 pancakes that will do two meals weekdays when my husband's not here. So I'm just going to leave these to cool a little bit and then I'll just close them up and put them in the freezer. Alright, so we're just going to run into town now. We've got some library books that need to be returned. Need to go to the bank and to the post office. So the kids are going to ride bikes. I'll see if um, I can use the bike trailer. My husband had changed the seat. Hi. And you need tools to fix it, so we'll see if I can use it. If not, I will take the stroller. And we'll head into town for a bit. You ready, Jacob? Yeah? You ready to go? Oh. Let's go out? Okay, let's go out. Oh. So the bike seat was a little too high. So I've got the stroller. Just kind of power walking while the kids are riding their bikes. don't live in Canada we don't have um, home delivery here uh, except for in certain cases so usually it's at the end of your street in small towns it's a post office you have to come to check it there's a cat rescue shelter we always like to stop and see them don't touch the screen though Joshua So I'm not sure if I explained that properly, but we used to have mail delivery to like your door, like through the mailbox in Canada or through the mail slot. And um, they started changing it over to community boxes. So usually there's one or two like at the end of the box and then everyone who lives there goes and you have a key to check it. And then they completely did away with home delivery for pretty much every instance, unless there's um, certain types of packages and stuff. So, we have to go get our mail when we want to check it. It doesn't come to us anymore. Now also, we did not hang out at the library. Our library is not, unfortunately, the most child-friendly one. So we prefer to hang out at other libraries and just get books here when we need books. Katie wants to show that she can stand up on her bike 
<laughs> Alright, we're back. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer now. We've got Jacob is playing the swing set. Nathan's in the pool. Katie is heading to the pool, right? But right. Definitely Jackie and my goggles. Okay, I'll help you in one sec. And Tyler and Joshua are reading their new books. So I'm gonna get some lunch started because it's about 10 after 11. And uh, Mama, make some lunch. Yeah, I'll help you. So Josh is gonna read outside to keep an eye on Jacob there. How did he get Pikachu? You gonna jump in? Uh, no. First I have to get used to the water. Used to the water. It's I cold. Can swim. It's cold, isn't it? I feel real good right about now though. It's a hot day. <laughs> so here's my frugal tip for the day. We make our own bread. Most of the time we use the bread machine. And after about a year and a half, our bread pan, the like bottom piece broke. And so I actually contacted the company and they replaced the entire bread pan. I just paid $5.50 for the shipping and they sent it and it works great. And so we're still able to make bread. We didn't have to go out and get a new bread machine. So always check with the company, even if the warranty's done, because you just never know. So I found the easiest way to do this is to put some mayo, mustard, and cheese on for everyone. And then they can just pick whatever they want to put on. The older kids can even make their own. Save me time and save any wasted food. So here's the younger kids. Lunch. You ready for lunch? <coughs> Let's eat lunch. Happy dance. So we've got lunch cleaned up. Mr. Jacob here. And we're going to read some stories. And I love this book. I will love you forever. When I saw you for the very first time, I was filled with joy that you were mine. I knew I would love you forever. My arms held you so tiny and sweet, cuddling you from your head to your feet. I knew I would love you forever. One sunny day, you started to crawl. Then you began to stand up tall. Oh. Tall. Now here you are, my sweet little one. My ray of sunshine, so full of fun. As you grow, you will learn new things. And see the joy that life can bring. Mm. Which one, the butterfly? No. The flower or the bee? The mm. butterfly. It's a butterfly. The one thing you will always know is that I will love you forever. Oh. It's the sun. It's the sun. Oh. Yeah. So Jacob's down for his nap. Katie. And the other boys are rotating through their uh, computer time they get on Fridays and reading books. And I'm reading Garfield. Garfield comics. I really love this age for um, Jacob. He's going to be two next week. And he can just read a few stories, sing some songs, have cuddles, and then say goodnight and walk out of the room and he goes to sleep, which is pretty amazing considering how hard it can be to get kids to sleep sometimes, so I love this age. So I'm going to go ahead and clean um, two of our bathrooms. I'm not going to clean the one beside his room, just so he will go to sleep, and get that knocked off the list while the kids are rotating through their computer time and reading books. So Katie's got a tummy ache. She's made herself comfy in my bed here while I clean the bathroom. And you hiding? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I haven't met anyone who actually likes to clean bathrooms, but I have to say, this is the first time we've ever had an ensuite, and so it's not that bad. It's quite small, too. So it is not that bad to clean. I think she's mm. feeling better. So here's our bathroom. Really simple. Just uh, one sink in there. We just uh, took some stuff off the walls. Eventually, we'll paint and fix the tile. This home has so much um, Western in it. Even like the tile is Western themed here. Not our style at all. All right, bathroom number two is done. And again, another brown bathroom. Brown floor, brown trim, brown countertop, brown cabinet, brown walls. We took a, another brown cabinet that was here off because I didn't need it. 
So I definitely have a lot of painting and updating to do at some point. If anyone has painted these kind of cabinets before, let me know. We tried doing these in our kitchen and we sanded them and everything and it just didn't work out so well in our last place. So let me know the secret if you figured out how to like paint this type of wood. Because maybe we could just paint it. We shall see. So I took care of some meat that needed to be portioned and put in the freezer and cleaned out like the garbage and did some other um, things that needed to be done like that. So while the kids are actually finishing rotating through their computer time and some of them are playing outside and eating carrots from the garden, I'm going to take some time for myself and I'll show you what I'm working on. I have not been very good, especially through the school year, in taking time for myself, so I'm trying really hard to get back into that habit. I've been doing yoga a few mornings a week and I'll show you what I've been working on as well. So I have been working on getting back into the habit of scripture study. It has um, fallen to the wayside. So I have this book because I'm a person who needs some structure and I like this and I just started this one. Um, asking questions, filling things in, making notes. And then I'm also working on this book here, Mind Over Mood. I actually have the worksheets as well that I am filling in as I go along and actually doing, I guess, the program or working on it. I had very bad anxiety through my last pregnancy and after the birth of my fifth child, and so I'm using this book as part of some um, cognitive behavioral changes and working on that. So I'm going to spend about half an hour or so, uh, maybe 45 minutes if the kids will give it to me, um, to work on this and have some quiet time for myself. So I had a few interruptions, but I got most of what I need to get done. I'll show you what these guys are up to. Katie did some painting, some very pretty birds and flowers. You could do just you, know, it. you didn't finish it? You can keep going if you want. No, it's you done? okay. I can finish it tomorrow. Well, <laughs> yeah. Kids are just having a snack around some popsicles. We had a thunderstorm roll in, and so it's raining. Nathan is still eating out there, though. Hopefully it won't last too long. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm just having some <coughs> sorry chips and salsa here. Josh was having a coffin fit over there. I'm working on some uh, birthday invitations for Miss Katie. <laughs> I'm gonna have a birthday pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Kids kidding. are gonna go watch some um, PMK. Popular mechanics for kids. Yeah. Until the rain stops. Well, I work on this for a little bit. So these guys are helping me. Joshua's learning how to change colors <laughs> and fonts in the Canva, I think is how you say it. I use this site a lot. Just trying out some different fonts here to see what this would look like. Mama, mm -hmm. uh, not very good. I can't nope. read that. You can't read it? Let's keep looking then. Yeah. Church Roman about Roman. This, one? this is one I use a lot. Josh, um, I can hear you sucking on this. <laughs> um, Just make it smaller and see. Mm, that one looks nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Okay, like, 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 like that. This. So I'm moving on to the next project I need to do. I have these pictures here that I need to put a white border around for an art show the kids are doing. This is a picture that Katie took and um, edited the software. Beautiful prairie where we live. And I'm going to catch up on some YouTube videos. Watch some uh, YouTube while I do that. Done, all done. So then these are gonna go on a big black poster board. I will film when we do the art show so you can see, but those are done. So Jacob has woken up and we had another thunderstorm go by. And then there's another one just queuing up to come over us right now. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. The kids are just cleaning up. They've been playing. We've got like a little mini pool table. They were clean, uh, playing and they're cleaning that up. Cars have been out, toys, cleaning up the outside. Uh, it's almost 5.30. And so my husband was stopping at Costco today to pick up some groceries for me on his way home from work because he goes right past it. But he had to work late and he was going to bring home something home for dinner. So I kind of changed around and put together what we had. I'll give you a look at what that is. So we had some potatoes, so I made some home fries and we had only 12 eggs left, which sounds like a lot, 
but when there's seven of us, it's not. So I had some sausage and some peppers and tomatoes and onion and cheese and made like an egg scramble there. I'm just gonna dish this out with some grapes and we will call that dinner. So diapers need to be done today. This is a very, very old bag. I think we've had this eight years or so. <laughs> we've had a long time. So I'm gonna toss these in the washing machine. It's about 6.30, dinner's done and cleaned up. I just need to sweep the floor. I still have a bathroom to clean. And we're gonna watch some um, shows. All right, this is better. Yeah, we're gonna watch Penn and Teller's Fool Us. The kids have been liking that show lately. So we'll watch a little bit of that while we wait for my husband to get home and then we'll have lots of groceries to unload and um, put away at that time. All right, guys, thanks for spending the day with us. It's about 7.30, my husband is home. We're gonna get groceries put away gonna have some time with the kids before we start sending them all off to bed and then um, we've been watching Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman so we'll probably watch an episode or two. I've got my family yearbook that I make every year I am working on right now so I'll be doing that and then we're off to bed so there is a kind of a Friday summer homeschool video. You know there is a little bit of homeschooling in there but mostly summers are just relaxing and having fun for us so that's just kind of a day at home basically. I hope you, you are having a great day as well. Take care.